up everybody, VST here and the topic today is astrophotography on the OnePlus 7, OnePlus 7 Pro. I have stumbled upon this article on the webpage called thecustomdroid.com. If you like my videos, you can subscribe for my channel by clicking on the subscribe button and you can also click on the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Article down below, but the idea is that uh, over the past few weeks I have tried maybe more than like 20 Google camera ports that apparently are enabling astrophotography, the very much acclaimed new feature from the Pixel 4 on my OnePlus 7 Pro with various XMLs. And uh, all right, I have to tell you, I mean, I need to be open with you guys, there is nothing much astrophotography on the OnePlus 7 or OnePlus 7 Pro with a Google camera. It doesn't really work in that way and I'll explain you why usually and this is also what I get on my Mi 9 while I was using the Xiaomi Mi 9 when you have like proper astrophotography enabled on your phone with a Google camera and when the Google camera detects that the phone is pretty much not moving and it's stable it will, it will run up to two minutes of an exposure and then of course you're able to capture more details, more light and then of course capture the stars but now some important disclaimers here guys in order to do this you need to leave in a place or be in a place where it's dark and you just have the sky above you so if you live uh, you know in a neighborhood with everybody or pretty much lights are up you cannot really get good results or let's say if it's foggy or there if there are clouds whatsoever but this article here guys is a very nice article so i want to share this with you guys and you can pretty much see they try to cover a lot of the good camera ports by arnova by parrot by c stark that apparently do enable the astrophotography mode. There are even some links there, and not only about Google camera versions, also links directly to XML files like the one here, by the way. So really, if you wanna try the astrophotography on the OnePlus 7, OnePlus 7 Pro, you probably can start with downloading Google Camera 7009 port by Airnova 8. Or Arnova, you know, one of the much acclaimed developers, specifically building cool camera versions and mods for the OnePlus 7 devices. So this build here definitely works. And also there is an XML config file from Hulm A7F. All right. Now, very important, once you do download this and once you enable the XML file, you need to go into the developer setting and make sure that the night site extended for tripod flag is selected. And actually let me do this uh, straight with you. So I have downloaded this camera guys. So if I go here, all right, we can see it's not installed. I'm just installing it. Okay. Will take some time. Still installing guys, but okay, that's not the 865. All right, done. Uh, now we, uh, we can see we have it here, so I'm gonna just put it down below with my other cameras. I have the Hypercam E1, I have the Uranix 1.3 Gold Camera 7.2 and this is now the Arnova 1 allow 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 and now we're gonna double press here and just load the Hulum A7F V7 now there are more and newer configs but okay let's stay with this okay restoring very important if you get if you don't get this message then you need to do it again okay then let's just go guys here into camera options into the settings and then go to developer settings and then we can see here you now uh, when you when you just put the flag uh, actually let's just put so night okay night jesus let me try again night okay another attempt night side not my best day today okay and when we look about the flag here all right night side extended tripod you can see this here is marked on okay so you make sure that you mark that one guys your camera will reload and now very important you know once you are doing some tests with this every time you shoot with a night side it will force the astro mode uh, and something very important guys and so that you are able to see this one here so let me just show you very important okay every time you do capture you know some photos with a nice sight and enforced astro mode you're gonna get <clears throat> you're gonna get this message you're gonna get this message saying capturing cuttlefish and then this you're gonna get here 
you're gonna get uh, capturing cuttlefish and then what you're gonna get here is like at least seven eight seconds maybe up to 15 seconds of exposure honestly i got some very good results you know with this camera and just showing you some of the pics that i taken okay that this one is not mine it's something really different but all right just see okay yeah just just taking some pics straight on, on the balcony with the tripod okay we can see there are three stars here uh, also i've taken some pics here in a very well lit area very nice pics guys so uh just show some more pics here <clears throat> okay that one here as well i even took a peek where some people were firing you know like some fireworks and uh, let me just see if i'm able to find and show this to you okay here this picture guys i shot and at the same time there are some people doing some fireworks and i think you know we just see some nice effects there uh here the pics again you see here we can see that there is a star and the star you know is not really very muffled so they there is a sharp image about it so yeah that's pretty much the setting guys so what i wanted to also share with you guys this is not really the true astrophotography mode and i do rather think than just right now speaking about astrophotography and google camera ports the xiaomi devices that are based on the snapdragon 855 chip or soc system on a uh, system on a chip are getting really far better support than what we're getting on the oneplus 7 and oneplus 7 pro and i do really hope that now Ernix and arnova are going to bring this to the next level where we can just really you know take everything that astrophotography can give so right now i did, i just think you know astrophotography works as a workaround it's still good it's a little bit better than the night side probably can show you guys i have some i made some pics i know just comparing night side with astrophotography uh, and okay so this is one of the pics here this is a pic that has been shot just with hdr plus no enhanced hdr now this is a pic with the astrophotography and you can see here there are like two stars all right i'm not sure if you can see this on the screen but they are like two stars and this is the same pic shot with just the night side mode using the unix wonder tree google camera 72 uh, and then again i mean yeah you see here stars are not so obvious now when we are using the apparently the um so-called you know astro mode or a cuttlefish mode you can see we have the two stars here same shot two seconds after this with your next it's not there so apparently you know it does a little bit of a better job just compared to nice side but i think we're still not where we want to be especially when i see what the colleagues you know with the xiaomi mi 9 and the and you know even like k20 pro and k20 and mi 19 mi 90 pro have so I do hope that in the next few weeks and even probably days, you know, we're gonna get something better. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted you to know where we do stand with astrophotography and with the OnePlus 7. If you like the video, just please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share it to your friends, and just come back for more. Bye. Bye. Bye.